U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the U.S. is looking into a report that North Korea executed a top envoy after the summit between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump collapsed. The report cited an unnamed North Korean source and has not been confirmed by other news outlets or the North Korean or South Korean governments. The report said he was executed in March for being recruited by U.S. imperialists and betraying the supreme leader. Pompeo responded to a journalist's question about the reported execution in Berlin on Friday. We've seen the reporting to which you are referring. Chosen Ilbo reported that the execution was part of a purge of top officials that saw four other officials executed. It also reported that an interpreter from the summit was imprisoned for what the newspaper said was an interpretation error at the February summit. It said that North Korea felt the error damaged the authority of Kim. There have been cases where South Korean media or intelligence officials said that an individual was executed, only for them to re-emerge months later. But some reports have also been accurate. I am not going to comment on intelligence one way or another. I can tell you we are monitoring the situation and continuing to stay focused on our ultimate goal, which is denuclearization. Trump said that the February summit between Trump and Kim in Hanoi, Vietnam, collapsed because Kim was demanding that all sanctions on North Korea were lifted but did not agree to closing enough nuclear sites.